Prince, some other uh, of the very, Zuma. very, very particular names to those moves that oh, Ken yeah. has. But that's not what's happening on this screen. I can actually commentate one of these characters, which is Ness. There you Ness go. is exactly the same as he's been for five years, except he got some uh, some other fancy stuff you can do, of course, with this character. Joker, brand new. Uh huh. Those magnet cancels are pretty sick. I'm not a big Ness fan, but those magnet cancels can give you some really cool stuff. He killed him. He killed him 10 seconds in. How did you? What did you? <laughs> jo well, Joker is supposed to have a better recovery with the with the grapple. But you think? PK Thunder said no. Yeah. I mean, that's the unfortunate thing about having a tether is if you've just been hit, you can't grab the ledge. And so Atata just kind of pulled that PK Thunder around, tapped him a little bit, and he just fell and died. Incredible start for Atata, who, uh, again, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Just the, the, the easiest, softest gimp of all time. But you know what's not soft at all <laughs> is that Arsene fair. <laughs> yeah, get the Any hell off of Arsene my thing. It's, it's not very soft. They are incredibly painful moves, and now Jim's Slice is already at 97% on the second stock. Because of that early deficit, that's going to put him in a bad spot to try to sneak past this yo-yo. Yeah, Ness's ledge trapping is pretty crazy with the fact that he can outdangle that yo-yo. Mm. So you can't, you can't chill, you can't roll, you can't neutral get up. So what are you really supposed to do? It's not as absurd as it was, not, not in the most recent patch, but a couple patches ago it did get nerfed a bit. But now, not gonna be. I was about to say it's not gonna be a factor, but you tried to sneak by with a jump, and just the, <laughs> the charge persisted for another extra second, and then killed you. Uh huh. That's it's that level of charge that it becomes a mind game that you're like, he's got to release that at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Didn't. It ended up being incredibly relevant here as it's had up two stocks to one, holding center stage once more. Just kind of. Fair in this Joker from ledge. You can't do any Arsene shenanigans if you're recovering the entire time. You cannot. And that Arsene recovery is reasonably vulnerable too because it doesn't have a hitbox on it. It's got invincibility at the beginning, but it goes away fairly quickly, so you can kind of give him a little love tap towards the end of the move. Mm -hmm. Good fair though from Jimbo Slice, setting up an edge guard, and the Tata is probably going to die. Yes, okay. The counter sealed the deal. Yeah. I don't even know if there was enough juice in the tank for that recovery to even make it to the top of the stage. I'm not sure either, but I guess best to be safe. This, this lead may prove to be too much here for Atat as he gets a, like, the easiest back row set of all time. Yeah. There you go. You uh, you got the little sit back in the chair. I'm about to get back to it. <laughs> Just the resignation. Those pummels were a formality. Yeah. <laughs> it did I mean, not they matter. Were. Get, get out of town. Tata looking very comfortable. Actually, Tata, interestingly enough, comes off of a very impressive win at the, the GameWorks Weekly Series, which is a very uh, well-kept secret in the Chicagoland area because I'm not sure how great the marketing was, but he won that over, like, Seth, Tyroy, and then oh, another, geez. like, eight to ten people in the Invitational Qualifier for their GameWorks big event in Vegas in a couple of weeks. Oh, wow. So Tata getting flown out for that to compete against the other game works in the nation. That's awesome. And that'll include people like, uh, I was just talking about this beforehand, that'll include opponents like Yeti, uh, Best Ness, and Foe. It's just wow. going to be a Ness. There's going to be tons of Nesses all over the place. There really are. A Tata versus Foe is going to be a nutty matchup. Because both these guys do some really crazy creative things in the character. If you're looking to see the Nest meta just evolve before your eyes, that's going to be the place to look in a couple weeks. But of course, Atana's here right now trying to make it to win his finals at Ignition over Jimbo Schleiss. Doing a very strong job of it so far. Early lead for him in this game too after he was able to fairly comfortably take game one after a, a very early percent gimp on Jimbo. But that, hello, forward smash, maybe a little wake up call there from Jimbo. Atana, don't get too comfortable. Atata died at 101 after the hit from the up smash, and just like, hello? And it was not a charged up smash either. That was no. just a dash up smash. But that was a cute little bait that Atata put in there, right? He goes for that back air. He can mix up his landing on the platform on the right. And then he reacted to the Rebel's guard by throwing out a second back air as a true punish. Sealed the stock. Really smart. Love what I'm seeing from Atata in this matchup currently. We've seen some great, okay, what? All Baseball right. Baseball bat from the corner. <laughs> yeah, neutral get up baseball bat, not one you see every day. Kind of a no mix-up mix-up. Uh-huh. I love, I actually really like that uh, double jump cancel PK fire on the on the platform. 
Because if you land it, then you run off the platform and do an up air, and you can drag him down into a grab and get all kinds of stuff. Mm. It's such a great way to start offense for Ness, just taking advantage of these platforms, but you don't need to start too much when you can just finish it with a forward air. Oh, yeah. Here from Joker, and now all of a sudden, uh, the shoe's on the other foot in game two. Yeah, Jimbo looking really, really strong there. I love his uh, his conversion right there, too, because he got the up throw and then just waited. And uh, Atata just kind of gave him the air dodge, and he could just forward air uh, Atata out of there. Love that little dare just to cover, and what are you going Whoa. for? What? Okay. I think he tried to Rebels Guard the PK Thunder and just dip too low, or I'm not, I'm not even yeah. sure. Well, and it wouldn't counter or stop the PK Thunder 2. It would just shorten it because you connected with something. And I don't know that it would have shortened it enough to kill. But uh, regardless, Jimbo's like dropping a stock kind of for free, and Atata's starting to bring this back with some nice little combos here. Looking for the comeback mechanic of his own. You have Arsen on the part of Joker, you have PK Thunder 2 on the part of Ness. And uh -huh. You gotta respect that at all times, especially when these uh, mix ups on the platform can be so devastating. Ooh, great air dodge. If he had to PK Thunder 2 there, he was certainly dead. Mm. Air, the air dodge from Ness is so strong. Like one, one of the characters that covers the most distance in the game, but look at that. No hitbox on the recovery, and see you later. Free yo yo on the part of Atata, who comes yeah. up with a big comeback in game two. Jimbo's got to be kicking himself, dropping that uh, that stock on for that Rebel's Guard. Unfortunately, at pretty pretty low percent, so he's not able to clean up that game two, and he's suddenly, suddenly looking at a reverse 3 0 situation if he's going to pull this out. I wonder if he's going to stick with the Joker. Okay, he does. Mouse over the Joker a third time. Not even thinking about it either. He went right over there. I mean, the Joker's the one who's made you this money so far in this tournament, right? Sure. Jimbo's made a couple of good upsets today. Already moving on into winning semifinals. I think he's played all Joker today. Maybe a little bit of crumb, but not too much. Gotcha. This is becoming a, a much more popular character in the wake of MKLeo with several S tiers. Oh yeah, and looking incredibly strong with the character. Oh. oh, what a great read on the air dodge. Yeah, that was phenomenal. Going for that same step. Maybe that's the step he was looking for before him, which is a little dip down below with the back air. Yeah. Instead of a Rebel's Guard. Oh, Ooh. that was so close. Okay. Jimbo has to be uh, actually thanking his lucky stars that he got hit by the PK Thunder. Interesting. That PK flash was amazing. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> It was just so perfectly timed to stop a dip down below with a, another one of those counters. Uh huh. Because that, you know, that's exactly what Jimbo was looking for in the event that the recovery was forced. But Atana using every single mix up in his pocketbook this year to, to make it back to these stages. He really is. The side magnets, too, are always just outside of Jimbo Slice's burst range, it feels like. Lots of nares out of shield from Matata. None of them been able to connect so far, but they are getting him out of these hairy situations. The speed of Joker does burst in to get a grab, and now he's gonna look for this two frame with the guns, and okay, doesn't get too much out of it, though. And oh. the persistence <laughs> on the yo-yo. Just keep going, just keep walking that dog. It's gonna catch you on the, the tether back up. It's gonna catch you when you're on the ledge, just a little bit too long, and then the third time's the charm, it KOs. Uh-huh. Tata hanging out in his shield here. He's at 153. Not trying to risk anything here, but is able to get that side magnet today up there. Even a shield poke for good measure. Just adding as much extra percent as he can. Ooh. All right. Wow. I that love that position. So, it looks so smooth. Just that one little gun, right? Uh-huh. Just hits you in a position that's just like, okay, now I have to go at this angle, and there's a downer. It's, it's so fun to watch these uh, these Joker players try to get these KOs without our sin. Uh -huh. They have to really reach deep to get some stuff like that. Ooh, that's a jab lock. Doesn't get the uh, the baseball bat after the... So that was a, a, a pretty hairy situation, actually, for Jimbo, because... Wow! Okay, well, it's now no longer a hairy situation for Jimbo. I cannot believe that fair without... Like, our sin dipped just a very unfortunate a little too early, but it didn't matter. The persistence paid off. Right, quick little grab plank. The e hot connecting there. Matata dealing with some poison for a little bit. A little curse. I, I wonder if Matata should extend the length of these magnets a little bit to kind of mess with the projectile play. But we haven't seen actually too much like spam on the part of the e and Aegons. That's from Jimbo. So maybe he has a better idea. And he's, of course, 
here in winter semis, and I'm just speculating on the mic, so that's, that's, that's what it be. Yeah. As he does get the stock with another well-placed BK Thunder Gimp on these uh, tether recoveries. Uh-huh. You really don't see too many people taking full advantage of the tether recovery, from, like in any of those sets, even versus MK Leo. Uh-huh. So it's definitely something that needs to be adapted to. For sure. As counter-joker gameplay. And Ness is a character who is uniquely situated to kind of be able to challenge it without having to go off stage, but mm. some other characters have the ability to contest it in some ways that probably haven't been optimized yet. Ooh, smart air dodge. And perfectly timed neutral get up too to make it past the second. Yo-Yo, wow, deep can you go, Jimbo? Nice job going all the way down there for We've the back done it. All right, Morgana's dancing. Starting off, starting off the reverse 3 0, maybe. Sturm's dancing. Every, every time, I just gotta respect the, the music. Right? Oh, 100%. 100%. It's so good. Give it a little bit of room to breathe on commentary so I can just do a little shuffle. Uh huh. Alright, so a tad up for the first time in this set will now have counter pick advantage. I'm not exactly sure what stage you look for as Ness against Joker. This might be a, one of those sets where just there's so much respect between the two players, they just stick to stadium the whole way. That's possible. Yep. Certainly what it looks like. One, the stage hasn't been too much of a factor, I think, in the way they've played. Like, I think Atata's gotten a lot out of this platform layout. I think Joker's gotten a lot out of the platform layout, because they just want to keep at it, right? I think you're right. Right as you say that, Jimbo getting a little bit out of that platform. Just a little extension for that forward air. Rebels guard a little mistimed, and that's going to be a Tata's opportunity to start another ledge trap, but sneaking right back onto the stage, landing a little combo of his own now is Jimbo. Really good chase from Jimbo, too, reading all of the Tata's defensive options. Ooh. This patience from Jimbo is so nice, but oh, just barely missing on that slight dagger yep. on the back air. And that probably would have been the dagger for that stock. There were no more resources left other than just another PK Thunder 2 on the part of Ness, so I yep. think he was just dead. I don't know, that does have some pretty crazy range, so. It does. Alright, the yo-yo not going to connect that time. Jimbo trying to trying to find that up smash. We saw earlier, that thing kills very early with Arsene. Correct, but not at all phased coming back up from the ledge. It's at it right now. What? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not sure no. how he got out of that one, but Matata's certainly going to take that. I can't believe the hitbox of Tetra Clank completely with. That's crazy. Or Clanked with the... Maybe. I'm not sure what, what an all get out happened there. But everyone's making it back after another scramble on the right side of the stage. And Matata's still living even after that back air. Jimbo trying to, to kind of harass him with that OP, but not able to do it. Kind of a weird oh. PK flash stall. Yeah. Can't say I've seen that before. Tata's an innovator for sure. Oh, that air dodge. Jimbo throwing that stock away even as he was trying to get that edge guard situation. Jimbo, he was incredibly bold going off the right side of the stage in the first place. So that was just a really crazy situation to put yourself in for, for any reason to try and challenge it. If you don't have like that easy counter confirm. Which he didn't because again, no Arsene. He had to go for the rebels guard instead. It's tough mentally, too, because you know that you're supposed to go out there against Ness. But when you do something like that that ends up getting you killed, you kind of don't want to go out there as much. Oh. oh my goodness, okay, what are you looking for? These PK fires that just exist forever! Back throw, yep, okay. That's going to do it. Jimbo, even after dropping that stock pretty unfortunately, he's at, he's at 85. It's not too terrible of a situation. He does lose our set though. Yeah, he's gonna have to start all over on his Arsene Gage. There's, there's no other name for that, right? It's just Arsene Gage. So. Okay. Yeah. Rebels Gage? Rebels Charge. Rebels, Rebels Charge, Charge, thank you. Gotcha. I am not excited to have to learn all the names of the hero moves. Yeah, right? That's gonna suck. Yeah, because he's got a whole drop down yeah, at bar least, yeah, at for least every I can three. Read them. That's true. And one of them is just go to sleep. <laughs> it's, it's the Samuel L. Jackson children's book, Go the F to Sleep. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Jimbo's flying back. He's not too far behind right now. Still no Arsene to speak of. That dash attack on the shield, though, a little bit uh, 
maybe trying to force an issue, and it's going to cost him the stock, and this is maybe his winner's bracket stock. Yeah. As we go into game four on the stadium. And that uh, dying does reset your Rebel's charge, which means that he now has to start, I think, from a quarter of the bar in order to get our set back. Yeah, about. So he's not in a situation where he can get kind of a stray aerial and kill us out of here. He's going to need to, to find some kind of a real confirm or get an edge guard. And don't forget, doing damage does not actually fill up the meter. That's true. It's just all taking damage or time. But you know uh, what? It kind of spooked him or something. I'm not even sure what that missed recovery set was. Oh, he booped oh. himself? Oh, that's, that's tragic. DK boys everywhere, pouring one out for uh, Tata right now. And now this Arsene will not be out in kill percent, but this is Arsene's perfect time to just rack up insane damage with these re-grabs. Oh my goodness, 70 in the blink of an eye. Yeah, that was a, a great drag down conversion there. And like, oh. I, I do not want to be Ness fighting just these disjoints, even in the, in the neutral. Look oh. at that. That might be enough. He's so low. It is enough. Jimbo can just chase Atata to the edges of the earth there. And I get to dance again, so uh -huh. we're going to game five. Yeah, yeah look, uh, Jimbo's so confident going that low. He really That's is. That's something he's never really been able to do. Yeah. Perks like, of playing Krom. He played Cloud in Smash 4. Oh, true. I wasn't even thinking about he that. He played Krom and Ultimate. Those are all ledge trapping characters. You don't get to go... Hella deep. Just, no. Like, here's a back air that will kill you at 45. Uh huh. If I'm in this position. And here's the counter in the magnifying glass. Yeah, it's insane how well he's adapted to the aggressive style of gameplay you can take versus Ness in these lines in the matchup. Uh huh. It is crazy that he's adapted so well to Joker because Prom and Cloud, you can kind of see some similarities where the skills are going right. to translate. Joker, you got speed, you got movement, but that's kind of as far as the skills are going to translate over. Well, he would go. Okay, now that here comes Final Destination as your pick, but, uh What do you think of that specifically? Taking away these platforms. Yeah. Um, I know Joker gets a lot off his combo ex or uh, platform extension, so it's not looking to take that away. I didn't see him get as much off of them as he was maybe games one and two. Um, so maybe he just wanted that kind of element entirely uh -huh. out of it. Yeah, the ad adaptation has been incredibly strong from Jimbo in general, so. I, I personally just. I'm kind of scared of our Sen on FD. Yeah. It's like, where do you run from this giant bully? Uh huh. But, you know, if Tad is more comfortable than I am, then we'll see how he plays it out. Right now, I find himself at a 35% deficit, and this is about to be online. He does seem to be more confident playing around with that PK magnet pressure, though. That is Ooh. true. And okay, what are you scooping down there for the down air? Uh, Jimbo? Putting himself in a rough spot here again because of that uh, buffered air dodge off stage. Oh! Ooh. So close to the mark with that up smash. My heart has not stopped beating. <laughs> and Jimbo kind of shaking his head. I think he knows how close he exactly was to just obliterating a stock from the tab. Yeah. You know what? You can't, you can't find yourself in your own head in those situations. You got to just kind of bunker down and find another setup. Definitely, and it's kind of continuing to poke with some of those kill moves. A raw back air is most likely going to kill, just depending on stage position, I think, right now. Yes. Ooh. Smart covers with the down air. It's out of having to PK. Okay. Just kind of goes for the little poke with it, knowing he's way too far out in no man's land to even make it back. Yep. Might as well give it a shot. That said, I guess if All Jimbo right. had been thinking about it, he might have been able to just run over there and rebel start it. That's true, it would have been free persona, but you know what? In the end, Tata kind of made it a non-issue by taking the stock almost immediately. Uh -huh. Finds enough smash for his trouble. Big dash attack from Jimbo Slice. Just throwing a Tata repeatedly back to this edge. And this is this is the Chrom and Cloud gameplay coming into full force, right? Because I can go deep or I can ledge trap you. I have the, the kit on this character to go for both styles of gameplay. Definitely. Little Eha. Tata gonna take a lot of damage from that. I think looking to get some kind of tech chase started with the Psy Magnet, but nothing yet. And now here comes our send to play, and just right on time, just with the doctor ordered for Jimbo as he goes up the stop. Game five versus Atata trying to make it to the finals versus Ned. And only at 66%, he's uh, he's got a pretty healthy second stock here and starting to chip it away to Tata's. He's got a full Arsene to pressure with, well, not a full Arsene, like half an Arsene. So just 
put these big hitboxes to work. Okay, another Aegon is good damage. That's 20% every time that lands over time. Uh -huh. So, you're happy with that. Oh, absolutely. Alright, it's Atta continuing to, to try to break through Jimbo's defenses here, but he hasn't really been able to find a way in in a while. He's kind of just been living at the ledge. And the spot head has all been impeccably timed for Jimbo, and he gets another dare. Dipping low again, but okay, now the high recovery and the jump saved the whole way. Okada hanging on. Gets a little bit of yo-yo damage, but again, he's uh, having to try to figure out a way to land. Gets the grab, up throw. Yeah, we're not quite in back row percent from center stage. This might be enough. Yes, fresh. Just with the doctor ordered one more time. Now Tata needs to make a big comeback happen here to stay in winners. Definitely. Nessus low percent combo potential, definitely nothing to sneeze at here, but he's got to find a way in first. Jimbo Slice certainly not trying to not trying to give that to him. He's got it back on stage again. Okay, oh. that's a start, but going to back throw to, to try some kind of reset, I think. I'm yeah. not sure. He just didn't find the tech chase in the back throw. There was some crazy follow-up there that... Oh! Yes. Don't need a crazy follow-up there. That, that's just a crazy way to end the game. <laughs> yeah. F-Smash, just perfectly timed. That hitbox big enough even without an Arsene to speak of. And there, Jimbo, gonna make the 3-2 victory. Yeah. Move on to winner's final. Reverse 3-0-2. Got a little baby pop-off from him. Yeah, I, I, I love rooting for Jimbo because he's just always so happy when he wins. Uh-huh. He's not like, he doesn't like grandstand about it. Not yeah. to say like other players do or like sure. they don't deserve to, but... <laughs> He's like humble in victory and defeat every time. It's, Definitely. it's always a pleasure to see. Yeah. One of those that just makes you feel good inside. Mm -hmm. Some players, they're going to pop off. They're going to be like really amped about it. And yeah. like, that's awesome. But sometimes I don't want you to. Right. <laughs> and Jimbo's happy to be here. He's happy.